Good morning, everyone. Brief message here today just on the trade that I shared with all of our e-letter members as well as, you know, normally these go to premium uh, and elite members. But this time I wanted to uh, showcase one of the formulas that's worked really well for us. The third, a third, a third uh, portion of buying into, if you followed along with this, you can check your previous emails that talk about LAC, Lithium Americas, uh, we've bought two tranches of the three tranches. And so right now I just looked at my account and I bought a little more than the two tranches, but that's just because I'm familiar with this. So officially you would only have bought the two tranches and I am down 25% on an unrealized loss on my uh, call options that I recommended, I believe they're for May, $7 for uh, 2024. And so you would look at this and you would say, Mashinsky, you're, you're, you're a crock. You don't know what you're talking about. And I would say, I'm doing this video to let you know, I think this trade looks very good. It's going to play out as, you know, not maybe not exactly as I expect, but what I will expect is if you see this here, that being oversold for the whole month is extraordinary. It's a very oversold situation still. And, you know, it went lower after the first recommendation that I had done here with this second extreme candle and ground down a little bit, then came up. Sometimes this is not the best situation and you could see another down leg, which would be our emergency third tranche. Uh, that we would put on there, but a bounce will happen. Trust me when I tell you, even the biggest pieces of crap companies in Lithium Americas is not one of those, uh, but they have been potentially overvalued since they spun out their Argentinian asset. You know, people, some of the bigger banks, uh, we talked about Deutsche Bank, Bank of America downgrading the stock. You know, they're usually a little late to the game. They had a buy on it and then they put it to a hold, uh, <laughs> and from a $24 price target, I just realized that Deutsche Bank, I think it was, that went to $7. So we're at their price range anyway, but uh, thanks to Elite member Sammy just brought up in a voice note that we've had, uh, let me just make sure I've got this on the right one, yeah. Uh, we've actually had some insider buying. Uh, this was Globe and Mail, I'm not subscribed there, but I couldn't see it on the insider buys, but I think this is legit. Uh, four insiders have spent just over 1.4 million buying shares as the stock slid down recently. I don't know what their buy prices are. I don't think it's been registered yet on at least the Canadian insider side, but we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, insiders buying is more important to me than Kareem Blanchard from Deutsche Bank getting concerned uh, very late in the game. So that's one thing I just wanted to mention. My bounce, I would expect it to go right up to around, you know, at least $9 very realistically. In fact, eventually this should close this gap around 15 bucks. But for the sake of our trade, I'm down 25% on paper. Um, I will share with you guys when I'm taking profits. And if it goes to $9, then uh, I don't have, yeah, I would, I'm expecting this, option trade to flip from being down negative 25 or 30 percent for you guys right now to up 50 to 150 percent in the next little while and i actually have a bid in at 55 cents on those call options uh may 17 seven dollars and i haven't been filled on that i had some in yesterday there was just not much trading um i had some in the 40s i think and didn't get any but i did get some the day before so so yeah, so listen, you know, this is why you have to have your head screwed on straight and you don't do things emotionally. This format for us has worked out really well and uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you're following along with this trade, uh, just don't sweat it, stick with the plan and it will work out, okay? One other thing I wanted, to, two other things I wanted to point out quickly, this is a brief video, Phenom Resources. My biggest position, um, so, you're dealing with a 29 cent Canadian stock. I'm over eight and a half million shares and warrants on this thing. And my cost average, um, I haven't done the official math on it, but my guesstimate, which is usually pretty close, 
is around here, uh, probably 37 to 39 cents. So you're talking about still a 30% discount to where I own the biggest investment of my life. And Phenom just came out with a little bit of a, uh, a surprise news announcement yesterday. It was a surprise to me. And that was that they just extended the vanadium deposit when they were drilling for gold. They're going on hole 17. It's 2,000 feet deep. But the vanadium project is near the surface. So they've already encountered. This extends the deposit with, uh, you're talking about 0.58% V205, which is a little less than the deposit itself, but not much. And they also had seven meters at 0.91, which is fantastic. So I would say um, this is just an added bonus, but you know, people are not paying attention to this because vanadium is down. Uh, but don't forget guys, we're also with this deal the reason for this drill program right now is looking for the next monstrosity of a gold system on the Carlin trend. We have three projects that are gold centric in Nevada that are extraordinary. They're earlier stage, but these are some of the best prospects <laughs> that you can find and were sourced from some of the best sources that you can find in Nevada. I've been uh, monitoring that position closely, that whole situation, because we also have a copper asset in Nevada, whether it's the four of those assets or we get a fifth, which is what I have instructed uh, management that would be my wish would be to find a fifth gold or silver or copper asset that we will eventually spin out with this thing. And, you know, we're going to make a fortune on this stock. And the last thing I'll show you on this one is this. So, I'm on the wrong screen again, but that's okay. So guess where I think this stock goes at a minimum. It's been to two, almost $2, two times before five years ago. That was on a one asset, the Carlin Vanadium asset, which was at just an option stage with a resource on it. 43101. It's at PEA stage now that's going to be gr dramatically improved. It's grown dramatically. And we have four gold assets in the project. And we have uh, an offtake agreement with MK Plus in Japan that has, we have 5% stake in their parent company. And people are, are not selling anymore here. Look at the volume. This is what is very encouraging to me is like, there's no, the only volume that's had a spike, which is even small too, there's no sell volume. There's no more stock left here, guys. You have to buy this stuff in advance of a surge. And I don't know if that's going to be on a drill hole or just very subtly when vanadium happens to bottom out and the market is looking six to nine months ahead and seeing a recovery in a lot of the commodity prices and critical metals prices. The vanadium asset here is my defense insurance policy because it's worth already the size of it, over 400 million pounds of vanadium, uh, highest grade, highest, uh, highest grade, highest um, amount of resource in North America for vanadium and growing and at surface. And I, uh, I know that this asset is my insurance policy. It's worth, it's going to have another spike just on the vanadium asset. It went to two bucks twice before. What does it do now when vanadium recovers? Just on the vanadium asset. So the gold stuff is all, you know, sort of like a bonus, but it's also the driver in the near to intermediate term if vanadium prices stay down. So I would just encourage you guys, um, you know, buy Vena, you know, keep nibbling away. People that give up in these situations usually end up really regretting it sooner than later because we're deep in a bear market, you know, and uh, and what I do is I try to make money where I can and then continue to build positions in companies like this when I have that free cash uh, and or those profits. And, uh, you know, where a lot of mine has come from, quite frankly, recently is in crypto. And I told you on my last couple of videos, I believe about making sure you're buying Bitcoin. I mean, look at the last week, 30 to 34K. When you start to buy the uh, perpetual futures on this, my profits have been in the hundreds of percents. 
That's just so you guys know, I do have another newsletter, phenomcrypto.com. If you're interested uh, in more crypto, you can go there. And I mean, we've, we've been crushing it. But the problem there, too, is that people... People don't like to act unless things are starting to fly in front of their face. That's why I'm a professional investor and I've gotten rich from doing what I do, from being poor, okay? It's by doing shit when people don't want to do it. They don't, they look around, they want validation or emotion. It doesn't matter to me. I look at a lot of different things and crypto is one thing that has, I've nailed in the past, you know, coming into Gold Investment Letter in 2016 with my first recommendation at under $500 of Bitcoin, it's just been extraordinary what's happened in crypto. And it's going to be extraordinary again. But when everybody's emailing me and texting me and calling me when it's back at, you know, breaking new highs and it's in the 70, 80, 90,000 range, probably not that far from today, uh, I'm not going to answer my freaking phone because I can't. There's too many people that want to get rich too, but people that are doing things along this uh, along this steady time, like I just really appreciate you guys. Those of you that have been around for a while, uh, my premium and elite investors, obviously, you know, um, we're doing things to continue to make profits in certain areas. But one of those opportunities for everybody right now is this um, this Lithium Americas trade, right? So. I would just say stick with it. We're looking okay. We're looking, we're not looking okay. This thing looks beautiful to me. This thing's going to rip up. That's what it's going to do. It'll go to nine or 10 bucks on a natural organic oversold bounce. We're going to flip our options, make a nice profit. And that's the type of thing that we can do to raise some additional cash. If you don't have cash flow or a lot of savings, this is the type of speculative uh, trade and it is speculative, but We've had great success here. So my message to you is keep the faith. We're going to get paid off and have a good, have a good day.